Hey guys, I'm Max2015. How are you guys doing today? Happy Sunday if you're in the US. Yeah, at this time it should be still Sunday, uh, wherever you are. Anyhow, um, I shouldn't know. It might be Monday in some parts of Asia or Australia. Anyhow, that's not the point. I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to introduce you guys to my second account in Boom Beach. As you can see, this is Max2015 2.0 or, or version 2.0. This is the baby account that I play. I play it on my, uh, on my wife's little iPad mini, which it's super laggy. I don't know why. Maybe because I updated the the software. So sometimes it lags a lot when I play. Um, but I was thinking, you know, not maybe not everybody in, who watches my channel is really interested in pushing victory points onto the leaderboards. Maybe some people are just uh, mid-level. Like this one is it's only a level 52 with 461 victory points. Um, by no means I'm maxed. Uh, and this is where I kind of just play on my time off when I have a chance and you know I just go ahead and have fun with it so I thought maybe I can introduce it to you guys maybe some of you guys who are sort of mid-level can also play along with this one so maybe I'll call this episode a let's play rather than a because I don't have a name for this I'm not gonna call it a push series uh, I guess the goal the primary goal for this account right now is to max it out so let's go ahead and do one raid let's see uh, I always try to attack and boost it. I have maybe boosted my statues maybe a handful of times, but my statues are not maxed in here. My troop health is only 30%, damage is 28, so I have to balance it with a perfect guardian, 13%. I do have a resource reward because you, you just have to have it if you want to max up your base. It helps a lot. Uh, my gunboat energy is only at 35, so I, I use two guardians, a 15 and a 16% here. I also have two little ice statues, 33% defensive building, and a building health guardian. I, I haven't had the chance to make a good uh, building health masterpiece just yet. So, you know, hopefully it'll come in the future. I don't really need the ice right now, but sometimes I do boost it overnight, and, and that does, you know, put away a few raids. So... It does help overall so this is a more balanced account i have before i was all either farming you know farming for power powder or now it's a full push account so this one's more balanced where i can just play and farm at the same time so it's not a bad account to have so let's try to see if we can get an account an attack in here i was also kind of hoping to see if i can at least help some of you guys uh, figure out how to defeat bases who are a higher level than you so like right now i'm at level 52 so I want to scout this level 56 and see if we can take him down unboosted. I mean, he does look, the base does look pretty beefy, but I kind of find a little spot where I kind of, I think we, Heavy Suka might be able to do it, and it's right behind this uh, where the residences are because these two rocket launchers, look at the blind spot on them. It's huge right behind them. So if I park my troops right behind both of those rocket launchers, man, the light's right on my face. It's the window, the sun's about to set, so it's right on my face there. Anyhow, if I can park my, my troops, right behind them i think we can be okay so let's see if we, we don't mess this up on the very first attack we make in here also I, this this strategy only works at least at this point because i i don't the bases that i'm attacking don't have any shield if they have a shield generator it changes everything so anyways let's see if we can let's throw a barrage right there hopefully the game won't lag either Ooh, will it take both residences hopefully it will no nah, just shy Maybe an artillery will help. Uh, I wish I could have taken down that other rocket. Uh, all right, landing the troops is a little tricky because there are all, all those three boom cannons in the front there. But we're gonna do it like that: three flags, four zukas behind them, and the last boat of right, uh, heavies in the front. They're taking a ton of flag, but I need to give my zukas a chance to kind of group up there first. Flare to the back, and now we can start smoking. Good. The path is pretty mine free so far unless he has some hidden mines but even if there were like right there next to the HQ the heavies will step in on them so I don't have to worry uh, the main thing is to protect the Zookas of course so throw a reflare as soon as my flares are a lot shorter in here also they're not like in my main account where they're all maxed so critters shock shock around uh, I'll throw a med kit because that's all I have and an artillery right on the HQ and I think that HQ is going to come down uh, one more shot. Perfect. Nice. So that was a really good attack. Um, again, I, I was able to take down a base that's a couple of uh, levels higher than me. And you can just look by, by the level of his defenses that his base is much further along than mine is in this account. But, you know, the, it's the same principle um, when you play with Heavy Zooka. Uh, by the way, all the diamonds that you see, the 6,800 diamonds here, these are all free diamonds. I haven't spent a penny on this account, so... If I do make this channel into like a, a let's play, I, I may have to start 
you know, buying like a little pack of diamonds because you can't really play it live and then wait for troops to train because that's just a waste of time. So for the sake of this video, I will use some of these diamonds. Um, I mean, they're already saved up, so I may as well use them. Plus, I'm not really sure if I plan to push in the future with this account, so I don't know if I need to save those diamonds just now. It doesn't really matter. So we can go for a, a level 54 here. His base is a little higher level, but I, f <laughs> I feel like at this level, most people don't really know how to set up their base. So, I mean, putting all the boom cannons and the rocket launcher so far in the front and the HQ right here, if I smoke heavy Zuka to the corner there, there's absolutely nothing that's going to hit them. And that's exactly what we're going to do. There are a couple of boom mines in here, but whatever. I think we can survive those anyway. So, let me just retrain the troops. See, the lag is real on this account, though. Right, 41 diamonds. Oof. I never spend diamonds in this account. I only use them when I have to, um, you know, like finish up a, a big upgrade and I'm short a few, some resources and I don't want to keep raiding. Then I'll go ahead and finish it off with diamonds. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of these two flamethrowers first. Ooh, maybe I didn't even need the, the artillery. Those things are not even boosted. He does have one ice statue, but I see some green statues. You never see green statues on my main account, ever. All I see is blue, freaking blue statues all over the place. Alright, so I'm just waiting for those Zookas to gather up a little bit. And there goes the, fl the flare. Sorry. And I had a tongue twist in there. Now we can start smoking. If you're going to be learning how to use a uh, smoky heavy Zooka, corner bases are the way to start because you can always smoke and have them walk along the shore, which makes them walk in a really straight line. If you start with bases in a center, it might be difficult. Oh, look, that flare just doesn't last long enough at all compared to the other count. Um, if you stru uh, start smoking heavy Zuka in... Oh, let me just focus first because we're going to get killed. I need to shock the launcher. Oh, I did take one shot. Medkit. Alright, they're just going to wear down that HQ so quick right there. Huh, easy. Piece of cake. So as I was saying, if you're going to start practicing smoky heavy Zuka, don't do it on a, on a center base because if you're not used to smoking them and you're not used to watching which what kind of pattern they take when they walk, it can be very... Um, you can lose a lot of troops along the way. So it's just safer to start with a corner base. It's just much easier. That's how I started. And nowadays you have the, uh, the advantage of practicing on your friends. Whereas back in the day when I used to uh, uh, learn, when I was starting to play, I had to learn... Um, on, on real basis, there was no there was no uh, friendly challenge on the task force, so that would that's a big advantage you guys have over the time when I was playing. Um, so let's see, I'd like to do another. The bases are not really that high level because I'm not too active here, so nobody is really far beyond me. Yeah, they're all the 53s. The 56 was the highest one, I guess. Um, when I was active in this account, you know, right before I started my push, I used to spawn people that were, you know, 7, sometimes 10 levels above me. When I was a level 51, and I would spawn a level 61 on my map. And I still used to take them down with Heavy Zooka. So, Heavy Zooka is just deadly if you know how to use them. So this one, again, I think we can smoke it right to where that sniper tower is. The Zooka should be in the blind spot of that rocket launcher. Uh, maybe I don't even have to destroy the sniper. It's a little risky, because I wish the rocket was a little closer to the HQ, but whatever. Let's just give it a try. I'm not even going to retrain my troops. I want to see if what I have left now is enough to take this base down. That Doom Cannon is going to pick a lot of my heavies, so I have to be a little careful there. So let's see. Three boats of heavies. All the Zookas behind them. And the last boat of heavy. Now, she's going to wait a second there. And now let's start smoking. I don't want to let those defenses take too many shots. I can't afford to lose too many troops, because I don't have a lot of troops. Oof. That Doom Cannon did take two, two lives with it, but no biggie. I think most of them made it. And this base is, is sort of in the middle of the base, so I don't have to wait for them to walk all the way to the back. Man, nothing just lasts long enough here. So I need to shock the Flamethrower and the Shot Launcher. I'll throw a medkit. And... Oh, what happened there? Was that a mortar that got me? I think it was a mortar. Oof. That was too close. I think the mortar back here, over there, kind of took a shot at my Zookas and killed half of my Zookas. 
Um, but it didn't matter, that base still went down. You can see how easy it is. Uh, so there's no really need to be struggling with RZM or tanks or even Scorchers at this level. I think Heavy Zooka is enough for all of these bases. Like I said, I can take bases 10 levels above me with Smoky Heavy Zooka. Provided that they don't have a shield. If they have a shield, things you know change a little bit. But if they don't, and usually in the 460 victory point range, I don't think a lot of people have a shield. Uh, my own base, I don't have any prototype weapons. I'm still saving parts in here. Um, here i have a decent amount of parts so far but i don't really see a point in putting them down just now and as far as my sculptor um i get whatever i can i don't have a, a power stone chance i don't really have any of that stuff going on oh i can make a masterpiece nice let's get that one going um but like i said the, the main purpose of this account right now at least the main goal is to get it all upgraded and maxed out if possible so that's what i'm going to do um i also wanted to take the opportunity of uh since i'm making this video to see if i could ask you guys a few questions so first thing first i wanted to talk about is uh somebody had asked me if i have a twitter account twitter yes twitter so i didn't do have one before but i just started one so if you like the, the main channel at least uh if you like the channel or you'd like to see more of this low account let's play then you can go ahead and follow me on twitter i just started my account it's a uh, max 2015 just go ahead and look for a max 2015. uh the other thing i wanted to ask you guys is what do you guys think if i started playing other games in this channel because i do play a, a, a whole bunch of different games boom beach is my favorite one i have to say it's the one i played the most but i do play other games by supercell like clash royale even though i suck at it but i still play it uh clash of clans I never really try Heyday, but those are games I play, and I'm, I play other games among them. So I was thinking, you might, you know, it might be fun to make videos about those also. So let me know if you'd be interested to see, or let me know what games you'd be interested in seeing the channel in the future. Maybe I don't think I would probably do anything else until my push in Boom Beach is over, because that push is just all time consuming, and it really does take a lot of time and focus. But you know. Once it pushes over, I, I do need something else to look forward to, and I think playing other games might be the answer. Um, of course, I do, I do have this little account that I can focus on also. I don't know if I want to push with this one or not, but we'll see. Uh, the other thing is, um, so I have a friend, her name is Harley. She was, she was talking about trying to start a YouTube channel that focuses on eating. So what do you guys think about that? Would you guys be interested in watching uh, sort of like a food vlog where we can maybe show people what to eat in New York City? and see what places to visit, um, go to eat in New York City when you come visit New York. So I thought it was a great idea. I think it'd be really fun. I would love to help her out and get the channel started, even though my own channel is really small. But, you know, there's a few of you guys who are already watching, so I may as well ask you guys for opinions. So, you know, why not? I love watching food channels, so maybe you too, you do also? Just let me know. Uh, oh, my iPad just kind of locked off. I'm sorry. Whoops. I think I just showed the password to everyone here in the world. Anyways, sorry for that. Uh, all right, so while the game loads, man, look, the lag is real. There it is. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you'd like to see the other channel. I uh, just put it in the comments down below. Like I said before, I love whenever you guys leave any kind of comments, whether they're good comments or they're criticism. Um, I, I, I appreciate all of them. And I always do read 100% of every single comment that you guys write. Uh, I may not be able to reply to every single one of them, but Rest assured, I do read your comment every single time. I do check my account all the time. So let me know, guys. Uh, I'll be really excited to see where, in what direction we can move this channel. And this thing just crashed. Man, this little iPad is just not that great. Uh, but anyways, it didn't matter. It's not like we're too serious about this. Uh, so, all right, guys. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you enjoy this kind of low-level Let's Play. Maybe we can make more videos about this so we can, you know, divert ourselves a little bit away from the push, okay? All right, so... With that being said, I'll just end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it, guys. Let me know what you think about all the things I mentioned. And I'll see you guys in the next push, guys. I'm Max2015. Until there, bye.